Big E was a, a guest on Z100 here in New York. He was on the radio with Josh Martinez, and he was asked about losing the WWE Championship, and he was pretty open about how he felt. It was actually kind of sad uh, to listen to him talk about this. He described it as kind of that falling off a cliff feeling at the hands of one Brock Lesnar, and then suddenly it feels like you woke up a year prior and you're back to doing what you were doing before. And on doing things differently with his title run, if he had the power to go back and do things over, he said, I wish it would have lasted longer. I wish we would have had the opportunity to do some more dynamic things. And you know, I don't think it... And then he stopped himself and he goes, it's difficult to really latch on to a new champion when within their first month, they have multiple losses on TV. But again, we can go down this path Look, man, I genuinely appreciate all the people who support me and who want better for me. I also want better for myself, and I guess I'll just leave it there. <laughs> Smart man. I'll just leave it there. That's a man who has a lot more that he could say, but smartly, he will keep it to himself. But you could just tell he, he's just down in the dumps about how that all went down. And I know some people think, you know, wins and losses don't matter, but they do. They do. You can try to convince yourself that they don't, but they do. It matters when it comes to how people perceive you on TV. Especially when you're a new champion like he was. There were people who didn't see Big E as a world champion. They didn't see him and still don't see him as world championship material. All the booking did was solidify that in their eyes. Yeah, but Big E knows the score. He knows what's up. And uh, Ronda Rousey made her SmackDown debut in-ring against Sonya Deville. Got a quick win, about three minutes, with the uh, with an arm bar. Charlotte Flair was out there doing commentary. And she was talking about how Ronda, she's just a one-trick pony, you know, with that arm bar. And after the match, she got into the ring, and Ronda put an ankle lock on her and had uh, Charlotte tapping out of the middle of the ring to this ankle lock. So again... The story is that you're a one-trick pony, and Ronda now is showing that she's not. She's a, I guess she's a two-trick pony. But I saw, you know, there were people online pointing out to me, the WWE is promoting this, and, and the WWE on Fox Twitter account even flat out posted, like, is Ronda Rousey going to be the first woman to make Charlotte Flair tap? And it's just blatantly disregarding their own history because they think the fans are fucking morons. Always remember, WWE thinks that you are stupid. They think that their fans are complete morons. Charlotte Flair has tapped out many, many times, multiple times before. Many times alone to Sasha Banks. She's tapped to Sasha. She's tapped to Becky. She's tapped to Asuka. She's tapped to Natty. Will Ronda Rousey become the first woman to make Charlotte Flair tap? Unbelievable. 